Pilots, this quick video on how to set up an Orange RX satellite on DSMX with your NAS32 flight controller. This will allow you to run one wire to your NAS instead of several for your receiver. Uh, the first thing you want to do is bind your satellite receiver when it's plugged into a regular spectrum receiver. Once you bind to your transmitter, you can disconnect the receiver and put this aside. Uh, next, you're going to wire up the satellite receiver cable. Um, there are three wires coming out, red for power, black in the middle for ground, and white, which is the signal wire. Power for the Spectrum satellite needs to come from 3 volts on the NAS32. And there's a convenient uh, spot to tap into that power line right below the LED. The other wires um, go to uh, the ground pin coming off of your NACE32 and your signal wire actually goes to the pin below it which is pin 4 not pin 3. Um, so that's it for the mechanical wiring. The second thing you have to do is to modify the mapping for the channels when you switch to the satellite receiver and the output from the satellite, the mapping is going to be different. Here's the mapping you need to enable in order to properly map channels from the satellite to your NAS32. The setting you have to, or the feature you have to enable is Serial RX. So you type in feature Serial RX and you hit enter. Then if you enter uh, feature again, you should see Serial RX enabled. And now the next part of this is making sure that the Serial RX setting is correct for your type of receiver. So you should go to this web page on GitHub. Um, you can Google this Serial RX like Spectrum Satellite Futaba S Bus and find the article. But essentially you want to have set Serial RX type equals zero or set Serial RX type equals one depending on the type of um, satellite receiver you have. For my transmitter, I'm bound at 22 milliseconds, uh, 11 bits. So I use Serial RX Type 1. 